Hello, John Knesny again, or Declan Finn, pick one. Let's go for Declan Finn. It will hurt fewer people. Um, let me see. Oh yes, step two of, well, really step one of selling your book and the wonders of the current marketplace. Step one, do me a favor, please, for the love of God, write the damn book. People come up to me, it's like, I have a great idea for a book. That's nice. I haven't written a word of it yet. What? Write the book, please. I'm begging you. Write the book. And then, after you've written the book, go away from it. Run. Screaming. Read another book. If you don't read other books, we're going to have problems. But read another book. A book you like. Then come back to your original book. I will lay you money right now. You think the book is crap. You will take a look at every other page and you will want to take a power drill to your brain because you think you were abducted by aliens because that was the only way you could write this crap. Then you're going to rewrite it. And trust me, rewriting really helps. It is possibly the most important pro part of the process. Then you're going to go take the book, give it to somebody, give it to multiple people. Give it to people who don't like you. Frenemies, if you will. Pe preferably people who can string together a sentence in the format you're writing. <laughs> if, if, if you've written a book in Spanish and they don't read Spanish, why are you bothering? Same with English, etc. If they give you positive feedback, you're golden. Although, you might also want to make sure that the people you're giving the book to read the genre you've written. After that, rewrite again. Give it to somebody you know. Give it to an English major who is out of work and completely unemployed, uh, busy with... Similarly unimportant things. I don't know. And get feedback from them. After you've done this for God knows how long, try to submit it, if you like. Um, the market is such that I've had an agent. I've had two agents. Uh, one was an apprentice agent. He wanted my book because he thinks it would. He thought it would propel him into being a real boy, real agent. Sorry. <laughs> And he got swamped a year later. So sorry, too busy for you. Fine. Uh, next agent I got, a few months later. Not a problem. Love the book. Love the idea. That was 2009. That's when you had massive book companies firing people in the tens of thousands. Not a few thousand people. Not a few hundred people. Tens of thousands of people in one month. And it just got worse from there. So the, the entire market for publishing, it's got issues. Ask anybody. It, assuming you go that route, I'll see you back in a few years. If you don't want to go that route, um, then congratulations. You are ready to self-publish your own book. In this case, for the purposes of this vlog, we will be using Create Space, and it will walk you through the process. Thankfully, you don't have to pay them for anything or to do anything. You can if you want certain marketing services, etc. Same everywhere. Um, I prefer Create Space because I get more money per book. If you go to some place like lulu.com, it's going to be, you're going to get fewer royalties, period, in sentence. And you get fewer authors' discounts. For example, uh, when I wrote It Was Only on Stun, it was about 240 pages. Um, I get to purchase author copies, full discount, at cost, 
for four bucks a book. Maybe four and two and three pennies. Uh, you go to lulu.com, not so much of a discount. Um, anyway, I think that's quite enough for this, blo this vlog. It's already run five minutes, almost six. So, on that note, have a good day. Patres et Fili et Spiritus Sanctus.